meet her since I was born because she passed away before. And the reason that I'm like doing a guide because it's because I want everyone to learn about peace. You know what? If I can do anything to this world, how I want to bust out like nuclear weapons and every weapon on this world. You know, when these child were explaining some things, it was not about just to learn something and to talk after about this. I felt, I really felt, how passionately they were speaking about this and how they were telling a story and how they were saying that, like, they wish peace yeah. and not to repeat this kind of things.なのです。いつも動画を見てくれてありがとう。えっと今日はですね、広島で英語で会場することも私のビデオも見ていきます。私も広島にいたことありますので、多分懐かしいになると思います。では見ていきましょう。all of the workers at that time had died and this building was all burned down. Oh my god, I'm going to cry. They are so cute. And 140,000 people died. Oh my god. Yeah. Hiroshima City decided to keep this building as a symbol of no more Hiroshima. No, no more Hiroshima, yes. But it's never been worse in the world than it's now. When she was 12 years old, alone in her house, and the distance from the Hypo Center was 1.5 kilometers. Her house collapsed. I'm speaking very but clear she English. Wasn't burned, but she was exposed to radiation. And radiation is very dangerous because when she was 38 years old, she got breast cancer. And when she yeah. was 60 years old, she got colon cancer. And at the age of 69, she passed away. And I couldn't meet her since I was born because she passed away before. And yeah, she passed away. So her name is in the atomic bomb victims in the memorial. The reason that mm. I'm like doing a guide because it's because I want everyone to learn about peace. You know what? If I can do anything to this world, how educated I he is. Out, like nuclear weapons and Ooh. every weapon on this world. Awesome. And like, yeah. We are Latin and in Latin countries, oh. we like to do group hugs. Can we give you a group hug? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I want to. I want to. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm squished. <laughs> <laughs> Oh above the dome. Yeah. So miracles. I've been here exactly. Oh, yeah. And it takes 10 months to build all everything. Uh, 10 months to build everything again. Oh, wow. That's I can't concentrate on this story. They are so but, cute. But, yes. Um, many people pray for water. Yeah. That's why there's more water. So rest in peace. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. There's been drink water from Oh my god! How long have you guys been volunteering? I mean, volunteering and spreading the message of peace. How long have you guys been doing it? Um, since when I was seven years old. Wow. Oh no. And now I'm nine years old, so like more than not two, two years. Two years. Right? Wow, mm -hmm. I think the English was really, really good. Um, yes, in terms of the perfect. Yes, perfect. Their confidence that was very important as well. Yes. And also their enthusiasm. So they were very excited uh, and all that. <laughs> good. Yes, yes. When I visited Miyajima last oh, summer, here too. this altar gate was covered with a net, so I couldn't see the altar gate at all. My favorite food? <laughs> yes. Sushi. How about you? Uh, my favorite food? Pasta. I like apple and juice. <laughs> Okay. I like banana. You like banana? Oh, I like banana. Like <laughs> I eat banana today. I am wearing yellow and pink. The altar gate is 16 meters high and weighs 60 tons. It stands on its own weight because it's super heavy. Do you know when it was built? It was built in 1875. 1875. It, it is the ninth generation no. that was. Ninth generation? Okay. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Very good, yeah. They are so, so smart, you know, it's not only fluent in English. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It, it is built in a place where it is high, wide, and far. Do you know why it has built in such a place? It is because the island itself has long been considered an object of worship. Wow. 
I thought that he was American yeah. until I saw that I understood that he was Japanese. <laughs> yeah. And also, they found that there were damage from white ants and running off wood. Mm -hmm. And they have to took the, all the vermilion to repaint the red light color. Oh my God, so he's using you, some words that I don't know at all. Right or you have to come around I've been standing stairs. there. If there was water, maybe you should go with a boat, mm -hmm. but sometimes there is no water, yes. so you can use the, water, the stairs. Water, high water. depends on the time. <laughs> when I went there, there was not water. Okay. Yeah. And also, uh, and, uh, there are two I remember it's maximum water flow. Yeah. Wow, wow. But you're not allowed to see them. Yeah. They sometimes mm. take your food and bag and also they eat them. Paper mm. yeah, I saw that he was eating the paper off the, the some wrapping or something. The ears, the Your ears pronunciation is very good. <laughs> it's very natural. And people yes, are natural. interested to listen to you, I think, because yeah. it is amazing having a young tour guide. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my god, it was very interesting. When they oh, finished. Really I wanted cute. to watch more. Yeah. It was very cute. <laughs> So it was really very nostalgic for me to watch this video first because that I've been there and all the places what they show for me it was very emotional to be at Hiroshima because I know what happened there and after seeing the museum as well it was very like a heavy for emotions but uh, this place was very beautiful and as you heard from him after bombing Hiroshima everything was destroyed but they rebuilt everything in 10 months he said yeah. This is a very short time to like, um, build a city, you know, it's not only one building. The story by itself about this place is of course very heavy and very yes. tragic, but, but from another side this child made my heart calm. Yeah, because they were so cute and smart and mm -hmm. intelligent and they knew all about their history and I'm very happy when I see the new generation like that who are interested in their history, country's history, yeah, country's yeah. history and don't want to forget. Yeah. But I wonder if we can have yeah. child, yeah. Yeah. child guides <laughs> because I would love to. This would mm. be a perfect experience I don't for know me. exactly from where you can choose that because when I went there it wasn't a tour, I was traveling by myself yeah. so I didn't have any guide when I went there mm. but it was very interesting to hear some stories from them if they, if, if they were there. It would be so wonderful if I can have a tour with them. And yeah. I will have them for sure. Yeah. But They're so cute. Yeah. And it's interesting also because that even this young generation tour guides didn't experience this everything. They have so much knowledge about yeah. it and they are feeling this everything and this job will help them improve in life so much. And if I wear that small working with foreigners like this, I'm pretty sure until today I would be more fluent and the more smarter <laughs> and until today I mentioned also in there uh, when I took a video I was very happy that one side is a very tragic story really as you mentioned what happened but second side is that what now when you go there and see how Hiroshima is full of life it's more happy to like a feel oh at that time. Yes, when I hear, uh, I can't help myself, but tears are coming. Some people were commenting that uh, we should forget about this kind of things because it is very painful mm. and very tragic. But um, I don't agree with that because uh, the fact that something is said in our from our past or from our history doesn't mean that it didn't exist. Yes. And so if something exists, it's, uh, and especially in our past, we don't have to forget about this. We have to remember this. It must be like an example for us. And I'm so happy that childs who are like just nine years old can realize uh, that kind of responsibility. And you know, when these childs were explaining some things, it was not about just to learn something and to talk up after about this. I felt, I really felt how passionately they were speaking about this and how they were telling a story and how they were saying that like they wish peace yeah. and not to repeat these kind of things yeah, yeah, anymore. These kind of stories are for that, to not make it happen again. So that's why we have to remember it yeah. all our lives and other generations has to know about it too. Yeah, of course it's painful, of course, but it doesn't mean that we have to forget about this. Yes. 
では今日のビデオはここまでです最後まで見てくれてありがとう次のビデオでお会いしましょうまたねー日本楽しみー